Hello, everybody. Um, I am here with a sketchbook tour that I just finished recording, and I thought I would just come on and say hi, show my face, because I'm not very good at doing that. Um, and just uh, let you know that this book, um, I started in 2015, and I just finished it the other day. So we're now in November 2022. So a seven-year sketchbook um, with uh, some good things, some random things. Um, <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to show it because that's what you do when you finish a sketchbook and uh, enjoy. Okay, I'm coming in with a voiceover. <laughs> um, this sketchbook is a Menacal stationery that I picked up from Anthropology in Toronto back in 2015. Um, you can see I started it February 14th uh, with some pretty roses. Uh, the gold paint is just some dollar store acrylic paint that I picked up. I wasn't really making a lot of art at this time. This is back in my knitting phase, knitting and baking phase, I would say, were my two main creative outlets um, at this time. And travel. <laughs> it was my first um, kind of out of Canada, out of the US, all-inclusive vacation um, in Cuba, which was really fun. Um, but the sketchbook at the time was really more of a journal, I guess. Uh, just kind of um, a book that I always had with me. I did get into hand lettering, um, and I think these are from some courses on Skillshare from Mary Kate McDevitt. Um, I love her Skillshare courses. Uh, highly recommend you check those out. Postergram is a company that uh, my partner and I thought of starting. <laughs> back I think it was maybe 2019 um, anyway uh, knitting with cats is a comic series that I thought about starting that never really went anywhere but when you knit um, and your cats names are knit and pearl <laughs> they like to get involved <laughs> so um, I'm sure you can imagine all the different scenarios um, that come up with that and I think we're uh, nearing yeah this is 2019 so we're coming up um, to the restart. So this is the sketchbook restart uh, 2021. This is when I started drawing a lot more um, and just experimenting with different new tools and stuff, doing life drawing poorly. <laughs> uh, life drawing is something I need to keep doing. Uh, this page here is just um, me cleaning off my Posca markers from making a painting. This is my first uh, plein air experience. A little um, hand-drawn animated gif, some single line drawings, doodles of my partner and dog Simon. Uh, this was a bus doodle that I did <laughs> for an hour and a half bus ride. Uh, it's a picture of my sister's dog who's no longer with us. Uh, these are when I first got my um, alcohol paint markers. So just uh, doodling those. Uh, this book came with me on a family camping trip. Um, it's a taco, my niece Peyton drew, <laughs> uh, one of the kittens. I really liked how this doodle came out here. This was a plant stand by the beach in King Carden where we were camping. Um, and I really like the style of that. I think it's really neat. Some more marker doodles. Uh, this ramen and guacamole, I did a uh, watercolor painting in my uh, watercolor sketchbook and I thought I would try uh, to see what it looked like in doodle form. This is my first play with oil pastel. I was over at my friend's house and she had a fresh set. Um, and as soon as I got home, I ordered myself a set just because I love them so much. <laughs> and I'm playing with a glass dip pen. This is a um, template that I made for a uh, painting that I did on our Saturday Night Art Disco stream. You'll see a couple of those foldouts in here. Uh, this is my grandma and grandpa's house um, that they built way back, way back when. Uh, yeah, these are more Art Disco uh, foldouts, color studies, some doodles. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Uh, I think these are on-location drawings, too, from when we were camping in uh, over Owen Sound. That was a, a nod to Furry Little Peach there, that flower in the middle. 
these are plain air as well. Uh, Duchenne Falls up at Calendar, uh, Calendar Bay, Ontario. These pens are from a domestic course that I took from, I can't remember his name, but I'll pop it up here for you. <laughs> that black scribble there, that pencil scribble was a portrait of me from my niece Autumn. <laughs> Uh, and that's a true story right there with my bad posture when I draw. Some art prompts from Sophie McPike's Patreon. This is really just like, um, I like to think of this just as like an everything kind of nothing sketchbook, like a play sketchbook. I think Fran, um, Fran Nerd would call it an ugly sketchbook, like just somewhere, no pressure, um, uh, place just to have fun. These are prompts that we did at an art disco. My friend um, was over and I had just different prompts on pieces of paper and we would just pick two out of a hat and put them together. Oh, my Root Canal comic book. <laughs> and anybody who's uh, had a late period should appreciate that last spread. <laughs> uh, these are more of those um, uh, art prompts just random putting two things together this is a building that's uh, just outside of our place here and every fall the trees turn to fire it's so pretty i have a watercolor painting of that as well this is from another skillshare or not skillshare domestica course that i took um, it's a different one so i'll pop up um, the name of the course it's really good but I don't remember what it was called. Same course, I think. Now some doodles from the Instagram account, 60s Wonderland. Single line drawings, um, it's kind of become a go-to for me when I don't know what to draw. I'll just uh, pick up my pen and draw what's in front of me. So it's usually if I'm just chilling out on the couch, um, <laughs> the record player and shelf and stuff. And of course, uh, this is my cat, Knit, who is coming to say hi. <laughs> I just thought I would keep going because she's cute. Uh, these doodles here are me trying to come up with a character design for uh, a story I was working on um, to celebrate my aunt. And those bird doodles, um, bird drawings, were ink drawings that I then turned into what you just saw there, um, some digital illustration. Serge Ibaka, <laughs> basketball player who was on the Toronto Raptors and is no longer. Uh, this is my first big commission piece that I got back. Uh, I think it was February or March that I did that. Um, and I'm really happy with the way that they, that came out. And I did another one similar to that um, for my partner for his birthday that hangs above our couch now. Of uh, the hip hop artist, MF Doom. Maybe I should pop that in. Some still lifes. Whenever I go visit my family and take the bus or the train, I always take the sketchbook with me. Um, and so there's oftentimes just like random, random visuals. I want that vase with the bum on it. These are some composition studies uh, that I've Found, uh, I found a book on composition from like late 1800s. I'll put the link to it in the description because it is really good. I've admittedly only read like the first couple of pages of it, but um, it really taught me a lot to look at composition and figure out a clean way of composition. <laughs> Um, and then this is me. I just watched the Sandy Hester. It's a couple years old, her video on how to draw a face. I'll link that below too. It was great. <laughs> so you can tell I had a lot of fun um, doodling faces. Should do more of them, they're really fun. Again, with the single line drawings. Uh, that was me watching a Skillshare class from Mr. Tom Froze on uh, illustration, illustration business. These are some um, color color studies, is that what you would call them? Of um, a group of seven, some group of seven paintings. I got an art book uh, when I went to the Art Gallery of Ontario um, and have just fallen in love with all of their paintings. Here's, uh, here's a few more, um, along with some map crunch doodles. 
Uh, that's my Uncle Henry's garden. Um, but you can tell I've found a color palette that is uh, is really working for me. And I think we're going on six months since that time. And uh, I'm still in love with those colors and have been using them almost exclusively, uh, especially in my sketchbooks. And we're coming to the end. Um, I think this is like the last, call it real. Oh, well, this is the last real spread. Um, Okay, maybe that one. Um, I'm going to be sad that the sketchbook is over, but uh, I'm going to come back with a little closing message and yeah, hope you enjoyed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it wasn't too rambly and it wasn't too random, <laughs> although I'm pretty sure it was pretty random. Um, I know it was pretty random because I'm coming uh, back after after filming. Um, but I just wanted to come on and say a big thank you to my little um, baby patrons. <laughs> um, not that they're babies, but my Patreon is a baby. Um, and I just want to thank everybody who is there, all four of you, <laughs> hopefully more soon. Um, I have three months, almost four months worth of content on there. So I do weekly updates, um, art updates. So I talk about everything that I make that week with a uh, little behind the scenes stories and stuff. And then I share the fun, interesting links and things that I stumble across um, that week. So lots of YouTube videos that I share because that's what I consume a lot of. Um, and then once a month, I do an art recap video. So I show all of the art that I've made. Um, and not all of it gets shown like elsewhere. So it's a little sneaky, sneaky sometimes. Um, and just like general art chats and stuff. Uh, any new art supplies that come into my life. Um, yeah, things like that. Um, plus like, you know, random things thrown in here and there. But for a limited time until um, my Patreon grows a little bit more. I have it set to $1 Canadian per month. So it is not a lot of money to support me. Um, if you like what I do, I would appreciate if you check it out. Uh, no pressure to stay, um, but I think you'll like it. And thank you, uh, patrons, for your support. Love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was uh, interesting. If you have a sketchbook laying around that you've had for a long time, pick it up, pick it up, use it. Um, I'm kind of sad that this one is done, to be honest with you. Uh, it has been with me for seven years of my life, so in and out, but um, it was a good one. But I am on tomorrow. I have like six on the go right now, <laughs> so I am not short of sketchbooks. Anyway, that's enough. I will see you later. Bye.